Damn it. Okay, this is a demonstration of loading the River Billy Revolver canoe trail. Once you've got one boat on the rack, you can pull the pin. This will be a remotely operated in the finished version. The pin locks to the next loading position. There's another boat at hand. One person. Pick this up. on the fender, rolls into position, we're still working on making the uh, tie down process a little more simple, right now I have to go across the Across the center pole like that. We'll take our strap. Put that in there like that. Tighten that strap up. Oh, I got those damn bugs, huh, buddy? The other end of the boat. Just like that. We might have that a little too tight on that other end. Just like that. Put that strap in there. Yeah. And we'll come back. Third boat on.
Get that one just enough to hold it for now till I get this one started. We have a third boat on there. We will once again pull a locking pin. Rotate the assembly. Ready for a fourth boat. Um, I don't have a fourth boat here. Three boats is all I have. What happens is you just keep going like that. The first two, there's a little bit of weight when you roll it around. Once you get to the fourth and fifth and sixth boats, it's pretty much fill a boat so it balances out pretty well. Anybody that's watching this, please note that this is the very first prototype of this design. And uh, it was made to quickly bolt on and off of my utility trailer. This trailer is much larger than the trailer it will actually be mounted on. Uh, I want to give that as a demonstration of how easy it is for one person to load an entire trailer. You can get six boats on there. I believe in, in uh, further progressions of this design that this wheel will be up high enough so that, and the trailer will be much lower than this one, so that once this has the six boats loaded to it, there would be room to slide a seventh boat and an eighth boat along either side. So following from behind this, you'd have the six boats on the revolver and you would have a seventh and an eighth boat on the trailer bed. I believe it would probably be kind of slick to put